Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube video and in today's video I'm filming a super duper highly requested video and this video is definitely suitable for all Form 5 students in Malaysia or maybe you're Form 4 this year or maybe you are in Form 3, you want to have like an earlier, like a better inkling on what you'll be learning for your SPM essays. Teacher is so excited. And in today's video, we are learning an SPM review essay. And this review essay is slightly a little bit much more different and harder because we are going to write a review essay about a museum. So if you have never been to a museum before, it is great that you're encountering this, this particular video to help you you know, broaden your horizon on writing a review essay. So before teacher gets started, I would like to wish all the Form 5s all the very best for SPM next year. However, if you need certain guidance and help, teacher is actually hosting a final war, the final lesson. There are a total of eight lessons which is around like, you know, two months and teacher will be hosting the final war for all the SPM students next year, starting in January 2022. So if you are interested, you could click into the description box below. And for more information, you could definitely WhatsApp teacher and we will, and I'll see you there. So anyways, guys, without further ado, we are going to start the review essay. So when it comes to writing a review essay, if you have watched my previous videos, I'm pretty sure you have a, like a picture on how to write a review essay. However, for the first paragraph, we must always introduce the writer first. We must introduce the reader. You know, what are we going to write? We are going to write about a museum. So what are the most important things to incorporate in our first paragraph? Number one is that you have to tell us about the importance of museum. Before you start writing about a review about a museum, we could write about, you know, why do people want to visit museums, like why are museums important? So we can write about the importance of museum as an extra elaboration. And definitely, definitely, certainly, no doubt, you have to incorporate the museum's name. Like I recommend my students to visit the museum of perhaps uh, Petro Science, for example. You have to provide the name. So our first paragraph, what are we going to write? We are going to write like a simple introduction. However, for this video, I was hoping to help every student to like, you know, expand your writing skills. Hence, the sentence will be slightly longer. Feel free to, you know, make any changes as long as your school teacher accepts this essay. That is the most important you know, rule for the entire for an, the entire SPM review essay. Without further ado, the first paragraph, we have two colors as usual. The blue color is to organize your entire essay or more commonly known as linkers to make your essay and your sentences much more organized. And the yellow color is the elite VIP, useful advanced vocabulary that you as a SPM student that you must know to apply into your essay. In our information rich digital age, meaning right now we have access to plenty of technology. There are many ways you could use the first one, which is called there are different ways of occupying our leisure time. However, if you could do a certain upgrade other than using, you know, different, there are diverse ways of spending your leisure time. There are better ways to use up your free time other than scrolling through social media, you could, you know, spend your time wisely. You could occupy your leisure time by broadening your horizon. And how do we do that? We can visit a certain museum. So in this question, in this case, we can insert our main point. Museums continue to play an important role, or perhaps we could upgrade, other than writing an important role, a fundamental role in our society. So that's when our museum comes in. Over the last 10 years, or in order to shorten everything, over the last decade, you know, museums have become more community-oriented. Uh, so teacher has a account in Xiao Hong Su, the red color logo that you'll see down there, the app right beside YouTube, teacher has Xiao Hong Su. And every time, whenever I want to, you know, interact with my students, teacher will go on social media. And I realize nowadays, you know, many students, they really love to visit museums. You know, there are plenty of museums, different themes of museum located in KL or maybe located a stone's throw away from 
from where you are staying right now. So museums, they are getting more and more popular. No matter big or small, museums are slowly mushrooming everywhere in Malaysia. And nowadays, museums have become much more community-oriented. So during teacher's childhood, people who go to museums, they are either, you know, elite people, they are very so-called, uh, I would say, maybe in the elite in the elite uh, category. But nowadays, our museum is more towards community-oriented. No matter who you are, it doesn't matter who you are, everyone has the opportunity to visit a museum. So nowadays, museums are open to every Tom, Dick and Harry. The museums are more community oriented meaning anyone can go because nowadays the majority most of the people they want to be inclusive rather than elitist elitist is like oh only only this kind of people can go to museum no i don't want that nowadays the museum is open to everyone no matter what kind of background you are from no matter where who you are or where are you from all of us we can visit the museum, including you and I. So the majority seek to be inclusive rather than elitist, reaching out to everyone. So now we will answer the most important question. What is a museum that you would recommend? Well, I have recently visited the National Museum of Malaysia and I was literally wow, dang, you know, the museum is amazing. So we could use the word, you cannot say I was dang by the museum. I was fascinated like wow like it really opens up your eyes like like no other i was fascinated or perhaps another upgrade i was enraptured by malaysia's rich historical and cultural heritage because it is the museum of malaysia we are learning the history of malaysia so hopefully until here it is still understandable and right now we will move on to the second paragraph where we will talk about some reasons. So for students who are, you know, yearning to write about review essays, I do realize that sometimes it may be a bit hard for you to brainstorm, like, oh, you're racking your brains and like, what can I write? Huh? So in terms of location, in terms of museum, or maybe you are writing a cafe review, a restaurant review that came out in your trial paper, you could write about the theme of the cafe the theme of the restaurant. You could write about the theme of the museum. Like, what is it like inside? Maybe it is full of history. So people who love history would definitely love this museum. The theme of the museum, and don't forget, money is a major concern for everyone nowadays. So how much does the food cost? How much is the entrance fee? What is the admission fee? The third one is the museum workers. No matter where you go, you will meet people. Example, when you go to a cafe, you will see waiters and waitress. When you go to a restaurant, waiters and waiters, waiters and waiters, sorry, waiters and waitress. Or maybe when you watch a movie, well, they are different, different characters. So they are always people in every sort of setting. Find the people and write about the people. In terms of museum, we can write about the workers of the museum. They are very friendly. They are very nice. So you could write about them as well. And last but not least, facilities is like, you know, what do they provide? Like for certain cafes, they provide a lot of parking space. So if today... If I were to visit the cafe on a Sunday, Sunday is a day where everywhere is packed with people. So the facilities are amazing because they offer plenty of parking spaces. So in terms of museum, do we need to park in a museum? Well, we have to find parking no matter where we go. So we could write about the facilities as well. So in terms of brainstorming, you could think about the team, the fee, the people, and the facilities. museum workers, friendly, these are the you know places and the brainstorms that y'all can go through to, before you write your review essay. So for the paragraph two, I will give like several reasons. Teacher has accidentally lost count, so I think there's more than five reasons. So please ignore the five reasons. Just 
just see the word reasons as an inquisitive individual so today what what kind of wind blow me you know blew me to visit a museum some more form power to actually kind of a museum in way now was she how to keep up about because I'm a very curious I'm a very inquisitive individual somebody who is curious we call them how to keep up but not really we call them inquisitive when I stepped into the museum, I was mesmerized. Like you literally fell in love with the museum. Like when you first saw your crush, you're like, oh, oh, so gorgeous. Oh, so handsome. And that was how you felt when you entered the museum. I was profoundly mesmerized by the works of art in the museum. So works of art are basically products they are basically paintings made by people for people to go and like look and to enjoy the best part is okay so in terms of museum usually if i'm not wrong if i'm not mistaken the admission fee is free but maybe for teacher i am an adult maybe i have to you know provide some payment but for students the fee is usually free so the admission fee is free or maybe if it requires payment, it is affordable. It is worth your every penny. There are galleries gala representing or depicting another much more upgraded word, meaning there are plenty of galleries. They are galleries in great quantity. So in shorter words, they are galleries gala representing depicting different themes so for this part you have no choice you have to write a little bit of the malaysia history like for this museum it has plenty of themes one of them is the emergence of malay kingdoms and also the formation of malaysia where we always learn in our tingkatan empat dan tingkatan lima bunia itu sejarah textbook so they are enormous enormous meaning whole tai gigantic huge gargantuan colorful canvas, they are pictures, they are sculptures, and most importantly, they are exquisite. Exquisite is basically very gorgeous and delicate jewelry, and even the garments of kings and queens. So garments is another word for your clothing. Like right now, well, obviously all of us, we are wearing something, and for the kings and queens, they are also wearing something, we call them the garments. So for this part, teacher has included some extra elaboration to help you uh, like gain a better perspective on this essay. Well, if let's say today you are somebody who is much more technological, you love technology. So you could say that you are a technophile. Technophile is somebody who loves technology. Maybe today I, I prefer to listen. I prefer to watch a video about history. I don't want to read everything. Well, for technophiles, fret not, don't worry. In this particular museum, there is also multimedia and audios available. So if you are a tech person, you can just toop, toop, toop. You just zoom on your headphones and listen to the history of Malaysia. How was Malaysia formed? Visitors can put on headphones and listen, or they can use the computers provided in the museum and embark and to go on a fascinating trip to the past to see how was Malaysia formed in the past. And last but not least, other than that, the museum. Okay, who are the people in the museum? Well, if the first thing that pops in your head, perhaps it is the museum workers, but usually when you go to a museum, there are many tour guides there because they are there to guide the tourists. They are there to guide everyone. They are there to guide the tourists. The museum's tour guides are friendly and they are very knowledgeable. They will explain to you about like every single detail, like every single thing literally. So you could say that they are friendly, amicable, or perhaps they are knowledgeable or just write both. It is fine as well. So we have finished the reasons of why I recommend this museum. However, if you want to have more brainstorm, we haven't really written about the facilities yet. You could write about you know, maybe we are writing about a restaurant review or a cafe review. You could write about, for this museum perhaps, there are plenty of parking spaces. The bathrooms are spick and span, meaning very clean. And the facilities there are very modern. They are state of the art. Hence, it is suitable for everyone to visit. It's a very comfortable, a very life-changing experience. And here are all the reasons why I recommend this museum 
to every Malaysian. So once we have finished our introduction, our reasons where teacher has given extra elaboration, we will never forget our final paragraph. So for this one, it's just a random um, work of art and it is gorgeous because, well, I know it looks a bit scary, but there are so many meanings in one picture. As the maxim goes, you know, a picture really speaks a thousand words. There are beautiful canvas all over the museum for you to, you know, to see, to mesmerize about, and, and so on. Hence, for the final paragraph, we will give a conclusion. This is one of my most favorite words. It is called verdict. Verdict is, there are two meanings to verdict. The first meaning is like a judgment by a judge. It's more formal. The second meaning of verdict is opinion. Like if you ask me, hey teacher, you went to the museum, right? How, what's your opinion of the museum? So what is your verdict like? Meaning, how would I feel? So everybody, if you ask me, after I went to this museum, the verdict is awesome. This museum is awesome. Everyone must visit this museum. And the third paragraph, the verdict, well, I would definitely, certainly recommend every Malaysian to visit this museum. It is a total gem. So if you're wondering what is gem, it's not the Teng Zixi, the celebrity singer, no. Gem is like something precious, something precious. This museum is literally as precious as a gem. The works of art are must-see and they will broaden the visitor's horizons. So voila. That is the entire essay for the museum. If you ever encountered a homework or an essay or you want to practice on review writing, you should perhaps practice on museums because museums is another way for you to write about history, elaborations. It is important for you to be clear about certain history of Malaysia in order for you to write certain points for your SPM review essay. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any, um, any questions, any feedback, you can comment down below and teacher will try my best to fulfill every student's need. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.